Intercom, BN38416, assigned to protect you. You've been targeted for termination. And uh, in the context of that, I spent an entire year, 2012, writing part six, which is Mind Control, History, and Applications. Now, I printed this out. It's about 68 pages long, single space, and it's got 46 book references. So I spent the whole year researching mind control, its history and its applications. And uh, so actually, it turns out I'm rather well-versed in the gang stalking uh, history because this is all coming out of this mind control uh, history. So the first premise here of what I call the two scenario is that modern gang stalking is a global system of neuro warfare, cognitive warfare. It is the modern continuation of the CIA's MKUltra slash monarch trauma-based mind control programming. Uh, while there were hundreds of programs in the CIA's MKUltra uh, program back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, uh, which were exposed in the 1970s uh, church senate hearings, uh, hearings. Today there are many, many more programs and projects. And then I link to this article, Mind Control History and Applications. Sex, second premise, and this is from Brian Tu's lecture, the four primary agencies carrying out global gang stalking mind control operations are the CIA and DIA, uh, of course, uh, DIA's Defense Intelligence Agency, which hire the neuroscience hive mind teams as subcontractors, the Department of Defense, which supplies the money through their black budget projects, and the NSA, which provides the top scientists. Hive mind teams, according to two, and he's got a number of good YouTubes on this, communicate via synthetic telepathy. So, you know, we're getting into real high tech stuff. The government's probably 60 or 80 years ahead of the uh, the rest of the population technologically and in, in, in so many ways. And, of course, that allows uh, these things to go on. Uh, people really can't imagine what's going on because they have no uh, knowledge of it. Third one is a large pool of people are needed as targeted individuals and mind control victims uh, for this kind of research. There are four. Uh, two, Brian, two suggests there are tens of millions of targeted individuals in America and tens of millions more around the world. Um, according to two, and of course I've been trying to estimate these numbers for a long time and I'd come up with millions, but he says tens of millions. Individuals are placed into this program because they fall into one of four categories, according to two. Judicial targets, criminals. Two, uh, extrajudicial targets. This would include uh, all kinds of people, activists, whistleblowers, dissidents, etc. Targets of opportunity, and this could be just about anybody, certainly including uh, uh, MK Ultra victims who had been uh, uh, a test subject for the CIA, you know, going back to the early years of their lives. And lucrative targets, or people that are, uh, for some reason, uh, uh, involved with something that is profitable and, and or maybe they've got some very rich enemies or something. And Dr. Uh, jump in yeah. there, because you mentioned tens of millions and, you know, if yeah. we're looking at a program that is eventually to be rolled out worldwide to every human, then the larger the test kind of group, the better the results you'll get, i.e. how you can manipulate large numbers of people at once. The larger that test kind of population is, I imagine, the better they're able to model how their different techniques and tactics work. Right on, right on. Number four, I think, is going to get into a, a topic that's going to overlap with Tony's work uh, and yours, Kev. Targets mind control victims have their minds linked up for life with conscious supercomputers, which send a steady stream of bi-directional, low-frequency electromagnetic radiation to the target's brain. This stream of both super targets mind control victims have their minds linked up for life with conscious supercomputers, which send minds linked overlap with Tony's work uh, and yours, Kev. Targets mind control victims have their minds linked up for life with conscious supercomputers, which send a steady stream of bi-directional, low-frequency electromagnetic radiation to the target's brain. This stream of energy includes a special carrier frequency that interacts with the specific brainwave patterns of the TIs. 
the brain of the victim is illuminated with a stream of energy, photons, known as the information and injection feedback loop, otherwise known as the neural link. Of course, neural means brain. Uh, then they read the return training signal. The system builds a cognitive model of the victim's brain. It is all automated. Most of the torture and murder that is committed by the conscious computers uh, is committed by the conscious computers, which have, according to two, a will, intellect, and emotion uh, and emotions of their own. Now, the will, intellect, and emotions, also known as the soul, these three comprise the soul, according to this research, of the supercomputers were stolen, now this is pretty wild here, from the tens of millions of Americans whose will, intellect, and emotions have already been digitized, destroyed, and downloaded into these supercomputers. Now, this is really scary stuff. Tens of millions of Americans are now targeted, he says. The supercomputers are in the process of building copycat, parallel, twin personalities of the soul. Says of millions of Americans are now targeted, he says. The supercomputers are in the process of building copycat, parallel, twin personalities of the souls of the TIs slash mind control victims by reverse engineering the will, intellect, and emotions of the TIs control and emotions have all helped this research of the supercomputers were stolen now this is pretty wild here from the tens of millions of americans whose will intellect and emotions have already been digitized destroyed and downloaded into these supercomputers now this is really scary stuff Ten